So Funko last week dropped their mystery boxes on the EQL platform, and uh, they were offering three pops guaranteed, $20. You can get Rare Freddy's, Protos, Autographs, or just, you know, random Funko Shop exclusives. I figured, why not? Let's take the chance. We were able to order six boxes. I have three in here, three in another box down here. Uh, one of my friends is able to grab three boxes for me. So uh, let's open these up and see if we got lucky. Box number one. You see you all sealed up here from Funko. I know some of them say Grail Box on them, but I know the stickers don't mean anything on the side. And before I open these, let me just start off by saying I really don't expect much from these boxes for $20, like for three pops. Like most likely it's just going to be a stock dump and like stuff they had left over on Funko. But for 20 bucks, you know, why not take the chance and, uh, you know, see what we get. So box number one here. So we got the sorter. Okay, so just three, you know, Funko Shop exclusives, but we got a Captain Cold Funko Shop exclusive, a guy from Galaxy Quest Funko Shop exclusive, and uh, an Indiana Jones Funko Shop exclusive. So, you know, not, I'm not going to complain about this. For 20 bucks, you get three pops, three exclusive stickers. You know, I'll take that for box number one. So that's one down. We got five more to go. Here's box number two. All right, box number two. All right, we got a Bo-Katan Funko Shop exclusive, a Seven Deadly Sins Meliodius with the special edition sticker, and an Avatar movie, uh, Natiri. Not a Funko Shop exclusive, just a regular, you know, common, but again, you know, three decent pops I'll bring to a show. Can't complain about that. All right, down to our third box, and there's the first one out of this big old box that Funko sent over. See what we got in this one. Come on, Frodo. I've seen a couple of people pull some Protos. I have not seen an autograph pulled yet. Um, so let's see. I know the Protos were like one of every 300 boxes and the autograph was one of every 3,000. I'm not sure what the Rare Freddies were. And this one is... Oh, well, this is interesting. I have not seen this yet in a mystery box, but we got a double of the same pop in one box. What? Is this Groot? Guardians of the Galaxy, the exact same pop. So that's kind of a bummer that they doubled up in the, in the same box. Like, I don't I don't like that, but not a big deal. And we got a Kong from the new Godzilla Kong movie. Those uh, always move pretty well, so okay, I'm okay with that. I just don't like to say put the same pop in the same box. Don't like that, but we move on. Alrighty, here we go with the next box. Box number four. We have a Jackie Robinson, a Isabella from Encanto Funko Shop exclusive, not bad, and a Silent Bob from Clerks. Three decent pops here. Good variety there, no doubles. So, so far across four boxes, we've only gotten one double and it happened to come in the same box, which is weird. So, okay. so far no Rare Freddies, no Protos, no Autos. All right, here we got a Susamaru, Funko Shop exclusive, a Thomas Shelby, Peaky Blinders, and a Chef Salt Baker that we've seen in every five below in our area. So that's definitely a stock dump on that one. But okay. We are down to our last and final box. I don't like our chances of a Grail hit. But, again, for $20, can't really complain. You know, it's like $6 a pop. Like, what could you really expect for $6 a pop? And our last box. Okay, we got another double in here from something we got earlier. We got a, the Grabber Funko Shop exclusive. We got another Captain Cold Funko Shop exclusive, which, to be honest, if I was to get a double, this is one that I would want. I think that's a good one. And I kind of like this one, too, the Will Chamberlain Funko Shop exclusive. So... Overall, you know, we didn't hit anything big, didn't hit anything crazy, but overall, I'd say it really wasn't a bad, bad box opening. I'm okay with what we got for for the amount of money we spent. We spent uh, 120 bucks. We got we get 18 pops, so I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. I'll bring these to a show. I'll throw them in my my, my bargain bin, and uh, 
you know, hopefully get some of the money back. But uh, I'll throw up a picture of all the pops on the screen right now so you can see everything we got. And, uh, you know, if Funko did this again, I, I think I would buy it again at this price point. It wasn't really bad. I'll, I'll bring these pops to a show. I'll throw them in the bargain bin, hopefully get some of the money back. But but overall, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. And, you know, maybe next time I'll get lucky and I'll hit something big. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to uh, like. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on if you don't want to miss any videos like this in the future. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.